Welcome back to ZM Attack. We got Demolitionist Suicidal Nuked. I'm really enjoying the Kaboom stick. I'm starting to get used to it. It is really hot here right now, so I'm super excited to finish up the uh, the last two episodes I have to record and find some way to cool down. Because, man, is it warm. Can't wait until, uh, can't wait until winter. I don't have any AC here either, right? I know, uh, I know a lot of people turn on their AC in the winter, in the, in the summer. We don't, we don't have AC. We have, we have a fireplace. We have two fireplaces, actually, in this, uh, in this household. No AC, though. So, you know, you, you, you decide for yourself whether we live in a, uh, in a particularly warm area or a particularly cold area, but, uh, I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. It's not a particularly, uh, warm area. But regardless, you know, it's, it's all relative, right? So, uh, so me right now, I'm I'm in uh, rather severe level of discomfort to the uh, to the warmth, to the uh, the, the thermal uh, conditions present in my life, and I would I prefer to prefer to not be. So I am uh, I'm looking forward to finishing this up and getting to turn on a fan at least. I don't know AC. I feel is quieter than I mean my fan at least because my fan I'll. Uh, I'll see if I can turn it on for you real quick. Let's see. This is my fan. It is quite a loud fan. Very good. It works. It does the job, but it's quite loud. So I can't have it on in the background. I don't think there's anything that could uh, could ever possibly make that happen. Like there, there's no RTX voice that's gonna block that out and make it still a decent quality uh, recording. It's just it's not happening. So I just let him put it on. But uh, as soon as as soon as I'm done recording these last two episodes, that fan is going on, and I am going to relax. I think it's also probably gonna be about dinner time, so I'll probably be able to go do that. Man, it's warm. Right into the, the summer. I can't wait. It's a few more months. A few more months of this. And you guys are going to have to deal with me complaining. At least a few times every week for those few months. I mean, it's going to be until, honestly, like, November-ish. That, uh... That it actually starts to be reasonable. So it's, it's, there, there's quite some time, honestly, before we have, oh, I thought I had to, I should hit the R button to reload instead of just clicking. I don't know why I do that. I do, I do it a few times, I do it every now and then. I click, I click the left mouse button instead of hitting R to reload. It's just me being dumb. Now you guys are gonna have to deal with it. If I have to deal with sitting here in the hot, to, to get this content out for you, you have to deal with uh, with with me complaining about it, okay? The friends who I complain to about the heat don't have to deal with it, but they're my friends, and I decide that I want to complain about it to them, so I do. And then they tell me that I'm just being a little a little wimp, and I can't deal with uh, a little bit of heat. And I say, yeah, you're not wrong. It's still hot. They always do that, you know? They always try to dismiss your... And that's, you know, that's not what they're doing, obviously. Um, but people try to, like, dismiss your arguments or, or kind of, like, hand wave your, your problems away by being like, yeah, you're just kind of overreacting. And, uh, you know, obviously that's not what my friends are doing because I don't think that it's really that big a deal to be hot. It's not really the end of the world. I'll survive. But, um... People, people try to like hand wave it away with like you're just overreacting or you just can't handle it and I'm like I am overreacting and I can't handle it that's why I'm kind of not having fun right now I mean I'm having fun right now but like hypothetically in the situation that uh, that we're talking about that we're pretending to, to put ourselves into here you know it's like people, people hand wave it away and I'm just like yeah you're right it's still hot I'm still uncomfortable though. This doesn't fix the problem. They normally, uh, they normally, they normally 
kind of like just shut up pretty quick when uh, when people are hand waving it away and they're like oh you're just too much of a wimp I'm like yeah I know I know I'm a wimp like okay well then just stop being a wimp I'm like yeah like well then stop complaining I'm like eh like well I'm not gonna listen I'm like that's okay you don't have to it's okay I like I like having people to complain to though I don't really have anybody, to be honest with you. For like the the big problems, anyway. There isn't really anybody in my life who I uh, I get to go to for for those types of things, you know. I'm that person for a lot of people, but uh, I don't really I don't really get it myself. Which is kind of why I, I like to, to be that person for people, because I know that uh, a lot of people don't have somebody who, when they're like really sad, they can go and and just just vent just get everything off their chest and uh, you know make a fool of themselves and know that they're not going to be made fun of and, and laughed at and whatnot. I know that a lot of people don't have that in their lives so I like to try to be that person for uh, for my friends whenever I can but uh, I don't really I don't know I'm sure that I, I'd have people who I could talk to but then I just I don't really get to have many problems really <laughs> I live a pretty happy life, all things considered, so I don't really have anybody to complain to, and then I don't really have anything to complain about for the most part. Nothing too big, anyway. Anything anything that I would have to complain about is usually related to the person who I would be complaining to. And I'm like, I just don't really want to whine about it. To, uh, to this person, you know? It'll be like, uh, you know, like a, a friend will, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want, I want to explain it without giving too much information away. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. No, I can't do it. I've, I've given up. But uh, there will be times when, when something will happen with, uh, with a good friend of mine. And, uh, you know, that's the person who I would generally want to go to if I had something that I just really had to get off my chest and then I'm like yeah but the thing I have to get off my chest is you so I don't really want to like whine about you to you even though I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even mind anyway but so it doesn't feel right you know anyway the moral of the story is I don't know uh, I don't have anybody to, to whine about my problems to I also don't really have problems so much. I forget why I was talking about it. It's a common problem, you know. Yeah, I was listening. I was listening to. Uh, I say you know a lot, right? And uh, it's a. I don't really think it's something that I want to fix, you know. But um, it is definitely a, a thing that I say quite frequently. It's it's definitely something that I I do say more often than uh, than I maybe should for for being a particularly uh, an, uh, enjoyable YouTube experience kind of thing I say I say it probably too much it's, it's not good content right the the content itself that's around it might be fine but like the, the, the you know so much they don't really add anything to the table it'd probably be best for me to get rid of it but that's that's me talking right as chef would John as chef would John say as chef John would say that's just me talking um, so, but I was listening to, uh, to Malf earlier, which is, uh, Michael A.L. Fox. He's, um, another Canadian YouTuber. I, I don't enjoy his content so much, really, to be honest with you. Um, which is kind of funny, considering what I'm about to say. But, uh, I was watching some of his content earlier, like, yesterday or today or something, and... I, I kind of saw a lot of similarities with my content. Like, his content is just, like, a better version of mine, in my opinion. Which is why I think it's kind of funny that I don't like his content so much, if it's just the improvement over mine, and then I still don't like the improvement so much. I don't know. But he says you know a lot as well. And I, I, th I thought it was funny listening to him, because I'm just like, you know, this is something that I hear when I'm, like, recording or, or, or talking or listening to my own videos, and then to be over here listening to this guy also do it. I'm just like, you know, it's kind of funny. 
gives me hope because he's a, I think he's a full-time YouTuber, so that he can do that is, uh, of course, very nice. If uh, if I think that he's just a better version of me, basically, I mean, gives me hope for being able to be a better version of me myself, you know. But uh, it was it was quite funny to watch because. Um, it was it was very similar kind of content and very similar commentary style. You are so dead, bud. I want to get I want to get a. I wanted to get a bounce. I wanted to get a bounce. I wanted to get the bounce hunting, but I couldn't do it. And then that almost cost me the win. That was almost very sad. Okay, so they do actually have, like, uh, an arc. I kind of thought they did, but I wasn't sure. But they definitely do. CRPG, we will not know. And it's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.